Hey guys, if you haven't found out yet, Balloons Monkey City is available on Steam. In a previous video I recorded, it was at the time only available on Android and it wasn't available on Steam. So the tutorial I made how to get the files for Balloons Monkey City only applied to Android, not Steam. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the files for Balloons Monkey City on Steam and how to use them. By the end of the video, you'll know how to use the files uh, with the rest of the tutorial videos in this series. So the first thing you need to do is install it. So just go to Steam and download the game, and when it is done downloading, we'll do the next step. So now my game is done downloading. If you want to get the files themselves without using Toolbox, you can just right click on Bloons Monkey City, uh, click on Manage, Browse Local Files, and we're in the local files. All you need to do is go into assets and now you are in all the goodies. So data.jet is what we're gonna be modding for the rest of this tutorial series. This is what contains like all the scripts and stuff like how much uh, money the dart monkey costs or how much damage he does, etc. So most mods you'll be doing are gonna be in this but you can do other mods like texture mods or audio mods. So you guys do have options. Also, if we go back one folder and then go into the Asset Bundles folder, you'll see a bunch of interesting things here. Basically, these are like lands or uh, tracks, as far as I understand. You can see stuff like volcano, snow, river, mountain, lake, jungle, hills, grass, forest. You guys get the idea. Now, as far as I understand, these have a lot to do with like uh, tracks and textures and stuff like that, but you can include full data.jet mods in here. Uh, that might be kind of confusing, so unless you know what you're doing, I wouldn't really mess with this. Uh, but there are people out there who are familiar with this stuff and they know how to edit these, so you might see those in some of your mods. Anyways, if you wanted to mod uh, the data.jet file to edit the files, you just open it up and you can see assets, uh, JSON, and all the goodies that we are familiar with. Like I said, these are the files we'll be editing. There is a password to edit the data.jet. It's the same as BTD5 and it does not change every update like BTD Battles. So here's the password for the data.jet for Bloons Monkey City. It's going to be in the description as well, but if you want to get it right now, here it is. Make sure there are no spaces uh, at the end of it or before it, because if you copy it with spaces, it's technically not the same password and it won't work. If you're having issues opening the file like I have here, go to Google and download 7-Zip. And if you don't know how to do that, just go to Google and look up 7-Zip and you'll be able to download it from there. So in the uh, tutorial in this series on setting up for Windows Part 2, I cover exactly how you would edit this JET file and make your changes, put them back together and put them in the game. So I'm not going to cover that right now. I'm going to show you guys how to do it with Toolbox real quick. Um, but if you do want to know how to do that, say, because you're not on Toolbox, just watch part two of how to set up for Windows in this playlist. So the latest version of BTD Toolbox, Toolbox 1.3, does come with support for Monkey City. So you just click on File, New, Monkey City Project, type in your name, I'll just do BMC, and then you press Create Project. As you can see, the project has been created, and I can uh, go ahead and edit all my stuff here. If I want to, and then when I'm done editing this, I can just click launch at the top and it'll launch the game. And any second now, it's going to launch. It's just taking a little longer. There it is. Balloons Monkey City has started. And there we go. We're in game. Yep. So from this point on, if there's anything else you guys wanted to learn how to mod, just look at the rest of the videos in this series because now you're up to date and able to do anything else that's in this series. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.